Attention Pokemon fans, get ready for Pokemon Live at the fall. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. Time for Isolation Station. Ooh. Shh, shh, shh. Caroline Cole, and my hair is red now. Can you tell? Yes. Uh -huh. All right, Diane. Diane, it's a week into April 2020. How you doing? How you holding up? Huh? Oh, okay. Apparently, in Diane's timeline, the Daleks are attempting a coup on the leader of a Burger King, and somehow. The grown-up future child of Grimes and Elon Musk has something to do with it? What, so you had to time travel forward to protect that child? No, wait. Oh, I misheard. She's just talking in her sleep. <laughs> All right, well, we love you, Diane. Hydrate, buddy. Stay safe during, stay safe during all that long 420. Okay, so moving on, I guess. We have a very, actually, very exciting submission today, y'all, with a new play by Dean Fiala, featuring the talents of Jenna Anderson, John Davis, Kyle Rudolph, Liz Stevens, and Will Wheeler, directed by Taylor Stanforth. This play premiered last month as part of Tap House Theater's first Shelter in Place Festival. So without further ado, The Last Roll. The setting. Natasha and Chris have just uh, seen their son, Liam, and his girlfriend, Olivia, after a visit. They are completing the move into their new downsizing townhouse when they learn of the shelter-in-place restrictions. The curtain rises on a living room full of opened and closed moving boxes, all of which are labeled miscellaneous. The powder room is on the door upstage right, and the kitchen and the stairs and the bedrooms to uh, the right. Chris and Natasha stand at the open front door waving. Lights up. Goodbye. Call us when you get back to school. Oh, please. <sighs> and now we return to our regularly scheduled programming. Oh, well, it was a nice surprise. What? The fact that Liam has a girlfriend? The fact that he picked this weekend with all the virus stuff to visit? Or that he only asked for $500 to pay for it? All of the above? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Is uh, that on the schedule? <laughs> Why not? All this can wait. <laughs> what the what? Oh, Alex and Mark said they might drop by. Of course. <laughs> Snore. Well, he's not that dull. Just... Yes, he is. And his timing sucks. Well, they won't stay long. Who's at the door? <laughs> Who are you? Hello? Hey! Yeah. Hey, did you hear? Uh, who are you? Well, I'm your neighbor. Ha. Oh, maybe we shouldn't do that. Uh, yeah, the virus. <laughs> right, right. <coughs> Sorry, I don't have it, don't worry. <laughs> According to Fox News, I'm immune. You're immune. So did you hear? Governor announced shelter in place. No uh, unnecessary trip. No. Oh, goodness. That's not good. Well, if you're prepared like I am, you should be all right. <clears throat> so, how y'all fixed for toilet paper? We're fine, I think. There's a box around here somewhere with uh, really? paper products. Really? Yeah. Do you want to sell some? Ten bucks a roll? You, you're kidding. <laughs> okay. Twenty. I got cash. <laughs> you think people are going to be that desperate? <laughs> Just you wait and see. I probably shouldn't tell you this, but you remember that blizzard a few years back? I was getting 25 a row. Oh, that's insane. 
Well, that's just how people are about toilet paper. You'll see. Well, nice meeting y'all. Wow, that was. Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't catch his name, did you? N no, so, so we have a new neighbor, um, toilet paper guy. <laughs> oh, well, I wonder where that box is. Huh, he's right. The governor ordered a shelter in place. Hm. Well, maybe it's upstairs. Eh, don't worry about it. We have plenty, even if we can't find it right away. Now, where were we? Well, no, no, don't forget, we had guests, so... How much could they possibly have gone through? Well, I don't know about Olivia, but Liam... You're right. And we had fajitas. Oh, uh, hold on. Hold on. No. No. No, nothing. Just the roll on the holder. How much do we have in there? I, I thought we had a pack in the vanity. We usually go through three and a half rolls in a week. You keep track of that? Well, yeah, it's how I uh, stock our grocery list. I had no idea. I know. <laughs> uh, now, if we can just get that down to three rolls a week, it shouldn't be too hard. You can just cut down by a square. Hey, I don't use it every time. Well, no, but when you do use it... You okay, okay. I, I just don't want to get... Of course. And now we'll both be working from home, so that'll up our usage. You're right. And so, uh, let's say five rolls a week, as long as you make sure... I guess I can adjust my routine. Good. And I bought a 24-pack, so just before the move, so that's about five weeks. That should be doable. Uh, yeah. Oh, I can't imagine that it would last... Mom... Oh my, what happened? Well, our, our flight got canceled and uh... I didn't think it would be a good idea to be stuck in the airport trying well, to get another one. That's very sensible. So, uh, how long would you be? Well, as long as they need I'm to. I'm really sorry. No, nonsense. It's good to be together, especially in strange times. I hate for you to be across the country. Really together. Yeah. And they just closed campuses. I should call my parents. Hmm. Olivia is from uh, California, right? Walnut Creek. I wonder what their toilet paper situation is. What was that, Dad? Uh, 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 nothing. Nothing, Sporto. Uh, I'm going to go upstairs and uh, check something. Oh, it'll be fine. What's, what's going on? I think our new neighbor has your father spooked about the toilet paper situation. Your new neighbor spooked dad about toilet paper? We have a situation? Oh, he wanted to sell us some, then he wanted to buy some. It was very strange. Toilet paper? Yeah, said something about $25 a roll during a blast blizzard. Really? Liam, don't get any ideas. Hey, can I borrow the car, Mom? No, no, you are not making any unnecessary trips. Besides, we have plenty. Somewhere. Mom, come on. No, oh, I said no. One toilet paper guy in the neighborhood is enough. Toilet paper guy? Our neighbor, I, I didn't catch his name. I'm so sorry that we just came crashing back. I'll try to find a, a flight out as soon as possible. No, not a worry. Rather you're here than stuck in the airport with this thing going around. I told you they wouldn't mind. Not Ooh. a bit. Of course, we're gonna need to get this place together if you two are gonna be here for a while. Of course, so. what can I do? <laughs> Oh, man, I shouldn't have had that third cup of coffee. <clears throat> hey, why don't you head upstairs? Yeah, upstairs. Okay. Okay. And easy on the toilet paper. Okay, got it. What's that about toilet paper? Oh, well, he can just go through it. <laughs> and we should probably try and conserve it, just, just in case. Wasn't locked. Dangerous. Someone might steal your stash. You're right. Thank you. All right. 30 bucks a roll, my final offer. You're kidding. For toilet paper? <sighs> You're tough. 35. Well, we have guests now, so I don't I don't think we can Oh, even well, I can sell you some, say $40 a roll. You just offered to buy it for 35. It's a seller's market. Okay, we are not in the market at the moment, but thank you. We'll talk to you soon. Okay, well, I'm just next door if you Bye. have to change your mind. Uh-huh. Who was that? Oh, 
That's our new neighbor. It's toilet paper guy. You don't know his name? I no. Uh, only know he's really into buying and selling toilet paper. Weird. You can say that again. Now let's see what's in these boxes. Uh, they're all labeled miscellaneous. Uh, yeah, well, my husband isn't the best packer, but he gave it his best shot. <laughs> <sighs> they were in here. I, I, I know it. <laughs> See, uh, other paper products. Well, I think you're right. I wonder where they all went. I... <gasps> we couldn't have gone through all of them this weekend. Well, we had Liam and we had... Fajitas. <sighs> How long have you two been seeing each other? No, no, not possible. I mean, I know he uses well, a lot, but- Well, he learned that from? Okay, now is not the time to figure out- uh, Oh, uh, could someone get me some toilet paper? There's some more in the cabinet. No, no, I already checked. Uh, hold on. How did this happen? Well, I don't know. I'm so sorry. I've been working on him, but- I'm No, it's not your fault, dear. It's- I'll, I'll head out and get some more. Well, I didn't see any at the store yesterday. I remember, ah, I remember laughing to myself thinking how strange people were to hoard toilet paper. What are we going to do? I have some tissue in my backpack. Well, don't be ridiculous. We have a roll in the powder room. It's, it's our last roll. Well, our son needs toilet paper. <sighs> I know. No, 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 he does it. I, I, I've got it. <laughs> what do you mean? Hey, what's uh, going on down there? Any toilet paper left or? I saw a box of towels down here, here. <laughs> that is disgusting. Oh, Sorry. no, it's not for that. Jump in the shower, Sporto, I'll, I'll bring you a towel. Uh, I, I guess. Well, that solves the immediate problem. That leaves us with only one roll. All right, it's not even a full roll. Not quite half. Is it strange I feel an urge to go to the bathroom? Just, just try not to think about it. What's that? It's our last roll. I still can't believe this. So sorry. No more of that. You didn't raise the wastrel. He's- I, I see a lot of showers in our future. I wish we'd sprung for that bidet. It just seemed too, French. We could rig one up. I think I saw something on Amazon. Well, that would be interesting. I don't know. It's still seems a little French. It's just another form of a shower, only a little more directed. <laughs> but if it's such a good idea, why'd they invent toilet paper? <laughs> Dang. Back order. Oh, how long? Two weeks. Oh, sorry. Nope. Three. No, we can't wait that long. Well, I can head out tomorrow and see what I can find. I'm sure everyone else has been emptying the shelves while we're standing here talking about bidets. Oh, we'll figure something out. We just need to, we just need to ration this out, okay? Two sheets a trip. That's reasonable. Two sheets for number two, two. Or you can shower. What if the water shuts off? Well, then we have bigger problems then. Uh, let's find toilet paper guy. I I'd feel better if we had at least one more roll. You are not going to pay him 40 bucks for a roll of toilet paper. In this state of the world, it's worth at least that. And if we don't use it, tomorrow we can sell it for twice that. That That's is insane. Ugh. Sorry. No, it's toilet paper. Hey, hey guy, uh, neighbor, uh, toilet paper guy. I have never seen him like this. Yes, he's never faced a toilet paper shortage. I hate to say it, but men just, just don't realize how easy they have. Amen, it. sister. Um, can I have my two squares? Yeah, yes, of course. Thank you. <laughs> Found him. <laughs> Honey, this is Roger. Roger, my wife, Natasha. Hi. Hi. Well, I understand you're in the market for some toilet paper. Yes. Uh, uh, let me get my checkbook. Um, uh, uh, 40 bucks, right? A thousand dollars. That's ridiculous. That's no. We could buy a bidet. What are you, French? We're at least a host. They're a seller's market. Okay, okay. Um, 50. All right. Since you're new to the neighborhood, I'll cut you a break. 
500. <laughs> Absurd for a single roll. Okay, 60. <gasps> Smells like you're going to need it. You only charge 25 during the blizzard. No, different times. You know, the snow is going to melt. It's not very neighborly. Okay. I'm a softy. A hundred bucks. Sold. How, how, how do you spell your name? But I can't deliver for two weeks. What? What the what? What's going on? I just agreed to buy a roll of toilet paper from Roger here for a hundred bucks, but he doesn't have any. I told you, it's seller's market. But you don't have anything to sell. A hundred bucks a roll? Huh. Oh, now you're talking. Hold on. Hey, how many do you need, ma'am? Oh, here. There they are. Yeah. Little Natasha, I am going to kill our son. Not I if I don't get to, get it, to it first. Just you, little. I too have resorted to trading and bartering during these crazy and confusing times. Just last week I traded some cheddar cheese for succulents. And then I traded those succulents for a cow, and then I traded those cow that one cow for a handful of magic beans. And you know what? They were magic too. Because they made this cow feed. Mm. Rich coffee with so anyway, if you haven't yet connected with Tap House Theater, you're a little late to the party. They're the ones who produced that last show. They've been doing great new work in this Dallas creative quarantine situation we're all dealing with right now. In fact, they have another sit festival, that shelter in place. They have another festival happening next weekend. So connect with them on Facebook, Tap House Theater, and don't miss new work. It's still happening, y'all. Our closing number today, yes, we've got another little musical ditty this week, is played and sung by the beautiful, the brilliant Celeste Perez, who, in a pre-COVID world, would have been performing Shakespeare for us in the park in just a few short weeks while we sat on our blankets drinking wine and eating fancy, smelly cheeses. This is A Million Reasons to Stay Inside. Sing us a tune, Celeste. It's five. Oh, oh, that's terrible. I feel you, girl. That was me until I drank it all. I'm Caroline Cole, and this is Isolation Station. Stay safe, stay sane. 
Keep making shit. Bye.